Your Excellencies, Commissioner Hogan, dear ministers, ladies and gentlemen, good to see you all here in the clock building. It's an old factory building of the Philips company. Here we produce the compact disc, what has been invented on the other side. Eindhoven is one of the technological hotspots in the world. The purpose of this exhibition is to show innovation in food and agriculture uh, and also uh, we ask designers to show us a glimpse of the future uh, so that it will make us think about how the future will look like because we cannot imagine of course how food will look like in one generation. I'm from Wageningen University and what we are demonstrating is a novel technology to make the next generation meat alternatives and an example of such a project product you can see over here. We supply natural solutions to make sure plants can grow healthy. And by using the natural enemy instead of chemicals, he could do that in a healthy way. We got a completely other approach by developing new technologies and products. And what we do is that we say, you can't do it top down anymore. So you have to be in contact with all the stakeholders. So in this case, citizens, farmers, technological uh, corporates to develop together new processes and products. Thank you very much. Ministers on the farm, that's very, uh, it's very nice, it's, they, they don't come very often. I think uh, they choose our farm uh, for the, the new kind of uh, cow housing. The cows have much more space, they have uh, 15 square meters of uh, lying area and uh, that's a lot for cows. There's a big challenge ahead. Uh, we need to feed a growing world population and we need to feed them in a sustainable way. Uh, so it's a huge challenge and we need to think about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the plenary session of the Informal Agriculture Council. We are, as you can see, in a very special place. Future of food. Uh, is certainly something that as a team that people can empathize with uh, but at the same time we're conscious of the present and the recent reform of the CAP which effectively came into effect just over a year ago is now undergoing a, a strong scrutiny, strong evaluation by stakeholders in terms of how it's delivering on its objectives. We will need innovation to face the challenges that lie ahead. We need to think how agriculture can contribute to uh, the issue of climate change because it's not only part of the problem, but it certainly is a part of the solution. Uh, we 
questioned how to strengthen the position of farmers and we also talked about the external dimensions of the common agricultural policy. Can we use the knowledge we have here in Europe to help developing countries develop their agriculture but also the other side around um, uh, can we make sure that uh, we're self-sustainable when the world might become more unstable.